Okay, so I'm going to tell you how I got the name Stardust Magic. Now when I was a little girl, like a little girl all throughout my childhood, I had one movie that was my favorite, favorite movie. And that movie was called The Never Ending Story. I got so much out of that movie that when I became an adult, I started applying things that I had learned from that movie to my life. And one of the things that I started doing, well, maybe you haven't seen the movie. It's a beautiful fantasy movie, Never Any Story, the first one, right? And um, basically there's this land called a Fantasia. And Fantasia exists because human beings dream, like every time they dream and they wish for things and they use their imagination, Fantasia grows and is like this really beautiful, abundant, wind, like really cool place. Well, the story of the never-ending story, what's happening is humankind is getting really serious and they're stopping to dream and they're stopping to wish for things. So as this is happening in the real world, Fantasia is starting to get destroyed by a thing called the nothing. So the whole story goes on about how the nothing pretty much destroys Fantasia to the end where there only ends up being one grain of sand left. And the princess of Fantasia has this one grain of sand in her hand and asks this little human boy if he will take that grain of sand and bring Fantasia back and make it a beautiful glorious place again. And he's like, of course I want to do that. How do I do that? And she says, all I need is a new name. So he yells out this window a new name. And with the new name, a whole new Fantasia is able to build. And as he keeps dreaming and wishing, and people keep dreaming and wishing, this really abundant, beautiful Fantasia flourishes. So I thought, as an experiment, every time I would move somewhere new, I would go by a new name like the princess, and see how Fantasia would unfold around me. And it was a very magical journey. There's been a few names that I've gone by, and um, it's been a really extraordinary experiment. So, Stardust got born probably about 15 years ago, when I decided to move to Hollywood. At the time, I was a professional fire dancer, and I was really um, looking to get involved in the Hollywood world. <laughs> and I knew that one thing that happens in Hollywood is you're going to have a headshot and you're going to have a name on that. So I thought, wow, well all the people I'm really impressed with by their names only have one name, like Madonna or Prince or Cher or something like that. So I thought, hey, you know, I want to go by one name. So I was thinking really hard, and um, the other thing is I had just moved into uh, professionally dancing with fire, and that that was something that I was going to pursue in Hollywood as one of my career aspects. Mm, the fire dancing and the hair, like always uh, balanced and paralleling, those were like my two careers really. And. Um, and so I was thinking about the fire, and I was thinking about where I feel like I really have come from, like beyond this lifetime, like where my spirit really comes from, and was thinking about what my body is and what we're all made of, and what's a connecting element that we're all made of, and, um, and what's something that if people just look at my headshot and that's all they ever saw, that it would bring some kind of like, um, it would stimulate some part of their brain to start thinking of how we're all connected and it's the hippie punk thing, right? <laughs> and so how like we're all connected and, um, and that there's a bigger thing going on. That there's Hollywood and that's awesome and that's wonderful, but there's also 
the cosmos and the universe and this whole thing going on. So I then thought up Stardust. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go by Stardust. I'm going to see how Fantasia unfolds around me as Stardust. So Stardust was born, and Stardust had a story. It's a little story that I'll, I'll read to you quickly. Stardust. There was this galaxy that had a beautiful star, a star similar to your sun, with many planets that revolved around it, just like in our galaxy. Except on all the planets that was revolving around this star, there were many, many living creatures, living plants, like very vibrant life on all the planets unique fragrant flowers and trees and colors beyond imagination. Everybody and everything lived in creativity, harmony, and love. So it was a cool place, right? But what happened is the star started to get old. And we all know when stars get old, they start getting bigger. Now as the star got bigger, all the planets started getting hotter, and so the environments for these creatures and the plants and everything got hotter, and so some of them were able to adapt, and some of the species died off. Now as species would die off, their spirits would go back to the star. So over time, the star got bigger and bigger and bigger, and it got so big that finally nothing could live on any of the planets anymore. It was so hot. So all the spirits had now become part of the star. One day, the star just, like, fizzled out and turned into this rock. So it was kind of like a planet with mountains and dust, and that was kind of it. But because it had been a star, it was this really unstable rocky planet thing, and it ended up imploding and exploding. And so all the spirits that had become those rocks and dust got shot out into different parts of the universe, like all over. So the concept is that I'm some of that stardust. And when I lit my fire torches, I would bring the energy of that star to plant this planet into the people around me, transforming energy around me. <laughs> so, so that's how Stardust was born. And then it started, um, and the Screen Actors Guild also allowed me to have that as my professional name. No one had claimed Stardust before. So. Um, as time went on, I started having finding that um, at times I needed a last name and I couldn't move forward with certain applications or forms or whatever it was unless I had a last name. So I decided to choose the last name Magic because Magic is this really beautiful thing. Like when I think of stardust, I think of sparkles and sparkly, you know, worlds and pixie dust and stuff like that, right? So pixie dust and all that has magic and create magic. So by choosing the name stardust magic, my fantasia would be unifying people and magic emerging out of creation everywhere. So, so that's how Stardust Magic was born, and um, I lived in LA for about a decade, and a year and a half ago I moved to Sedona to chill out a little bit, and um, it seemed, instead of choosing a new name, it seemed like a very suitable name for this place. If you know Sedona, it's kind of like that, like there's streets named Stardust and Moonglow, and, Raven wing and wind song and all that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah. So I've held on to that name, and Fantasia keeps opening up around me and is beautiful and exciting. And um, there's my hippy dippy punk rock version of <laughs> Stardust 
magic is and how she became her.